Hi, I'm Dr. Patrice Berry and I want to tell your story. A couple of weeks ago, I shared with you my daughter's book, I Can, based on the four freedoms that I wrote. Now, the four freedoms are really simple. It's the freedom to take care of yourself, the freedom to take care of others, the freedom to take care of the greater good, and then the freedom to do whatever you want. Those freedoms act in order. Only when you've done the others can you do whatever you want. Well, Ashley Patel bought 10 books to share in her community. She was taken by the Four Freedoms and the story, and she went about to share the books, and this is what she had to say. Hi. I'm at the after-school pickup. I just gave the first copy um, of the book that I'm going to share with my daughter's school to um, Charlotte's teacher. Do you need help? And she, uh, I explained it's a really good tool for linking responsibility with freedom as opposed to linking power with freedom, and she got really excited and said they are just about to start um, teaching for Martin Luther King Day. And then we both screamed a little bit. And I told her, that's exactly right. <sighs> I got 10. I can't wait to hand them all out. Thank you so much. You can only imagine my joy. So when Fatima did this book, she did it for new readers, early readers, to read with older readers. The freedoms themselves are for the older reader to read. The freedom to help the world. And then the I can, the repetition of the I can and the visualization tells you what it is that you're reading. And then memorization helps. The visual part helps. The sounds help. But all of that helps. I can pick up trash. I can serve the hungry. And yesterday when my granddaughter was reading, she was like, I can get up the trash. And then she went, no, I don't get up the trash. I pick up the trash. And just going over that became this thing that she understood. So when I saw this from Ashley, she also sent me her children, who are different level readers, reading together. And it is so much joy. I can. Boys Reading for Kids by Fatima. By, Fatima? By Fatima? Fatima Berry. Very good. Fatima Berry. You all already know that Fataka is over the moon. Ashley also shared that her kids have a new phrase in their vocabulary that they're free to. They're free to do this. They're free to do their homework. They're free to do their chores. They're free to do whatever they want, whatever needs to be done. Tying responsibility to freedom. For every right, there is a responsibility. And this is really an important lesson. What's so beautiful is with these freedoms, not only are they free to help and to help around the house, they're free to imagine. And so her daughter wrote a wonderful book with a map of the heart. And it looks like this. So here's the thing, the thing that I really need you to know, that when Fatima felt free to finally express her art, which is not something that's always easy, um, it's really empowering because when she was in college after her first art class, um, she wanted to major in art. And after her first art class, she changed her major because the professor didn't like her art. She didn't like the way she expressed it. And so for the longest, Fatima didn't want to draw anymore. She didn't want to express herself that way. And now she has found the freedom to do so. Think of the ways that you wanted to go and the things that stopped you. Pick up the fact that you have been a responsible person and you can now revisit your dreams. Thank you so much, Ashley Patel. Thank you for your beautiful children. And thank you for Taka. <laughs> I love you.